Hello, my graduation project is a wireless touchscreen control to home automation system. There are two parts in my project. First part is a transmitter part, and second part is a receiver part. In transmitter part, I used uh, Arduino Uno uh, NRF24L01 uh, and Nexion uh, touchscreen. I used uh, Nexion. I used Nexion to give input to the system. And uh, I used NRF to send the uh, data to the receiver part. NRF is a wireless communication module, uh, and uh, it provides us to communicate at uh, 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Uh, this module uses uh, SPI interface. In in receiver part, uh, I used Arduino Nano. Uh, by the way, you can uh, use another type of Arduino. You don't have to use only Nano and Uno. I have uh, one Nano and Uno, uh, so I used them. Uh, anyway, I use relay module to trick uh, LEDs. Yes, tr trick LEDs. Uh, and the uh, NRF24L01 to bring data from the transmitter part. Now let's check device. Uh, by the way, I designed this interface with Nexion Editor. About this uh, design, I will upload uh, another video. I ha now, uh, I have four buttons on my touchscreen, and if I click one, I will see another page. Uh, at this page, there is uh, another button. With this bu button, uh, I'll control LED. Uh, I'll, click, uh, I'll click this button, and the uh, first LED will be on. Yes, it's working. Now, second one. Second one is working too. The third one. Third one is working too. The last one. Yes, working too. Finally, I want to talk about NRF. Uh, actually, NRF is not uh, working regularly. Uh, at the beginning of the project, uh, I tested NRF, but it didn't work. Uh, then I saw uh, in a forum. Uh, the problem was power. Uh, NRF is working with the uh, 3.3 volts, but uh, it can't get a uh, 3.3 from Arduino. Then I bought this uh, this component. Yes. Uh, only you should uh, put NRF to here, uh, and uh, you have to fit this adapter with the uh, 5 volts. Uh, this is a uh, pin connections of. Uh, transmitter part and this is for receiver part yes that's all thank you for uh, watching goodbye